Hello, Power Apps Makers. This is Ahmed Saleh again. Uh, I have this uh, short video uh, for something that you can do with your Power Automate automated flows. Uh, these uh, automated flows, uh, one of them is the trigger flow. So these are the flows that can trigger based on certain actions. In the Dataverse, we have multiple actions can trigger a flow uh, to add a new record, to modify a record, uh, or to delete a record um, and these works with the dataverse as well as with other data sources uh, in this example i'm going to show you how to do this with the dataverse uh, so basically what we would like to do is we would like that every time there is a, a modification that apply to one of the records in our table and this case is going to be our customers table that we would like to send email uh, but we want actually this flow to only run again. This is uh, will actually decrease the amount of run. Usually uh, this modification uh, or this flow that triggered by modification will run every time that there is a modification happen. And after that, you will create, for example, a condition to check out for certain kind of criteria for this modifications and to have a following actions right in that in the flow. So what we what if we want actually this flow uh, that will be triggered by a modification in a certain record or any record to only run if actually it met actually a criteria condition or more one or more of these conditions to have to be met so for that flow run as I said this will save us the time of run you know that this flow will make and obviously uh, if you have like enterprise solutions you have a lot of you know modification that happened in a certain day you don't want to exceed that threshold of the amount of the flow running um, you know in, in that case so let's hop in and let's see what we're gonna have here so we have this uh, let's actually get this open so we have this here and uh, in this record, anytime there is a modification, as I said, this happened, we would like to send email uh, to, for example, to the system admin, right? Uh, so let's go back here. So I have this solution here. It's a community called community. And I have the cloud flow. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new flow. And this, as I said, it's going to be a cloud flow. It's going to be automated. And uh, we'll start from here. Uh, I will give this uh, a conditional trigger. So I have a condition trigger. I'm going to just give it a name as condition trigger. I will go ahead and look for the dataverse. And I would like to use when an action performed. Uh, no, I'm not going to use that. I, I will use actually when a row is added or modified or deleted. Let's go and select this trigger. So this flow basically <clears throat> will only run if one of these three happen or, or if I want like to all of them. So what I want to do here, <clears throat> I want to actually select modified. So to the change type is to be only modified. So when there is a modification happen in one of these records in a table, we're going to select now our table. So as I said, we're going to work with the customer's table. The scope of this is going to be organization. That's mean everyone in the organization will be able, like everyone in the organization, if they make a change on this uh, uh, if they make a change or modification on, on existing records on this table, this will tr trigger this flow, right? The next step we're going to do, and this is basically to create this uh, uh, code uh, for, for the condition, but to see actually how you can add these conditions for this flow to run. If you actually go here and click on the settings of this first uh, uh, action or first step in this flow, and you go to the settings and you can see here right here you have trigger condition specify one or more expression which must be turn true for the trigger to fire so this is what we're gonna do again these are expression how if you know how to write expression you can go ahead and, and write them right there and and that's completely fine if you don't know how to do it then this is where you can actually utilize the action that called filter array and basically we'll use this just to get this expression basically to, to to make this expression and after that we will go ahead and delete this filter array action so what i want to do i want to actually uh, for this for example uh, i'm going to choose a value from those uh, uh, from those from this record that change so that's that's a value or a field 
from uh, the change record in the customers table. And in this case, I'm gonna make it the city. And I will say like uh, uh, is equal to, uh, let's say Denver. So in this case that this flow will only be triggered, obviously, after I take the expression from here, I want this flow to only be triggered if the city is equal to Denver. How do I get the expression from this? If you click on the edit advanced mode, you can see that this is the expression right here. And again, if you know how to write expression, you can just write this over there and that's it, done. So I'm gonna just go ahead and copy this and I will go again to the settings on my first step here and go and click add and then I will just paste this expression. That's the first expression. Can I add more? Yes, of course I can add more. So I'm gonna go and edit back in the basic mode. This time I will change actually the city and I would like, for example, to do, you know, the state in this case, right? So I want the state uh, to be uh, also uh, changed to, uh, let's say, is not equal uh, in this case. Let's just use something different. So it's not equal. Uh, and I will put here uh, Tennessee, for example, right? That's that's it. So this, this is the other one. Click on advanced mode. And this is the second condition I have. I'm going to go ahead and click on the settings of my first step. Go back there add a condition and paste it. So now we have two condition. We have the first condition is that the modified record has to be equal, uh, the city on the modified record has to be equal to Denver. Uh, the second condition we have that the state in the modified record must not equal Tennessee or TN, right? And this is the only time that this flow will be triggered. So now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, yes, we need to make the first action. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the email and then I will send email and I will just send it to, you know, the uh, myself here. And I will call it conditional trigger flow. run or let's just call it fire fired okay and basically here what we're gonna do we're gonna put the city and we're gonna put the state so basically this is actually email will only come to me in one condition that the record that was modified is the city is memphis and the state it's not tennessee Right, that's the only time we're gonna get actually anything out of this flow. And that's the only time it will run actually. So if I go back here and I'm gonna go and check my details for this flow. So what we want to happen, it's not like for the flow to run and then check the condition. That's not the case. I don't want this flow to run at all actually, except actually when it meets the condition. Now let's go and do you know a few tests. So we said that it will not run if the city, let's click this one. So it will not run if we make any change here. Let's say actually say Ahmed dot, we, we modified the email address here. So this flow should not run. In our case, the flow should not run because the city is not Denver, right? And the state is Tennessee. So again, if it's, it's New York here. So, and the state uh, does not equal uh, uh, Tennessee. So this condition is one of the condition is true, right? But one is false. So this also should not allow the flow they, because both conditions in this case, because we added two conditions, both of them, they have to be true, right? For it to run. I'm going to go ahead and submit and we have changed this one here. I'm going to go back to my flow. I'm going to hit refresh, refresh, nothing, nothing, nothing. So the flow did not fire, right? So I'm going to go back again and check something different. So this time, it's going to be maybe the same record. So we're going to check this one here. I would like the city to be Memphis, right? So this will actually make that this record now will meet both conditions that are required for the flow to, to fire. The city is equal Memphis and the state equal New York. That's mean it does not equal Tennessee. And I'm going to go ahead and submit, go back to my flow right here and hit refresh. Give it a second. Okay, does not equal Tennessee. 
So I'm going to go ahead and edit this real quick and see what exactly I have here. Okay, let's see settings. So equal to Denver. Oh, sorry. Yep. I know exactly what happened. Obviously, you do too. So as you can see here, the city should, should equal Denver. Great actually testing. That's awesome. So now submit. Go back to our flow right here. Hit refresh right here it's actually running is it succeed it's done and i have received email as you can see here i have this email that i have received denver and new york right so this is basically it you can add these conditions you know to your flow settings the first action which is you know the trigger right to only trigger to only fire this flow if actually met a condition or more now let's try just one last scenario in this case i'm gonna try this one here again i wanted this time to not fire so i have memphis and i have tennessee right so one of the conditions or both of the condi conditions actually uh, are not true so obviously it will not fire i'm gonna change this to co colorado so now one condition is true what about here let's do actually denver and the state is Tennessee. So this will not allow us basically to fire that flow because this is equal Tennessee. That's mean one of the condition did not meet or have not been met. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh here. Obviously nothing is gonna happen. I'm gonna go back again here, change this to another state and I'm gonna go ahead and submit. This time we should actually get this flow to fire. Right here, it's firing receive the email and here you go you have it right here i hope you enjoyed this very short video please like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video